certainly have a better viewing for the PRC and China and so forth in the future and so forth. Do you think we are pursuing the correct policy? But you would just think the future America. How do you see that? I have always said that it was not a dramatic and important issue. Join the issue with them because you've got no real issues that the streets are almost are worse than our natural boundary. Uh, I think if Joe and I plus Mao live long enough to send this line, this line will never be sent for a decade plus, namely friends with all the rest, borrowing, buying technology, not from anyone. So that it can be switched off and in fact by they started, as they were the Russians in the late 50s. But buying Boeing from Americans, buying trinets from the British, never mind all the complications of different tools and spars and so on. They could have bought uh, Boeing 737s, the Continental 707s, why why buy trinets? But just spreading their sources. They have cultivated the Japanese, they have cultivated the West Europeans individually, collectively, encourage the common market to grow stronger. Their main preoccupation is Russia. And the, I don't know when they develop a really safe second strike capability which will make them sleep well at night. And they, they are really afraid of the Russians. Now, deep down in every Chinaman's heart, or this subconscious. He, he can berate the Americans as imperialist aggressors and so on, but he, he knows that the Americans are people with a conscience. He also knows that the Russians have no conscience. So he's really under no illusions about this. Therefore, they're going to play it really, really, very carefully. They're not going to upset the Russians. Not going to give way or show me as I am. You know, taking all these tunnels and so on, you, you can do your worst, yeah. and you'll give up the next century to the Americans if you engage us by building up. And I think once they reach this second strike capability, then there is no possibility of reaction. And that's a new phase, and that's a new generation, and right? that's about as far as we can go. No. Well, you look around, if you were sitting in the king at the present time, I mean, from their viewpoint, from their standpoint, I say this without quoting anybody. But if I were the leader there, I would look around. And I would see 40 or 50 Russian divisions come on the border. To the south, I would see any of the 500 million people. They have contempt for India. They think they can just knock them down. And they're right. They're right in terms of what they could do to the military. But nevertheless, India, in their eyes, rapidly becoming a Soviet satellite. Because Indian, Indian arms are there. Mm -hmm. That's why Indian and Pakistan get worried so much. They look further around. Southeast Asia is a sort of a mess. That's, that's why their policy in Southeast Asia is probably they would prefer not to have uh, a, a, a North Vietnam charge the whole business. They would prefer to have, it. in fact, they talk to us in terms of war and the Chinese states, right? Yes. There's a Chinese do. And then they look to the Northeast, Northwest, East. They see Japan, and despite what Japan uh, is doing at the present time toward peaceful directions, they know and respect the Japanese, and respect them, and have reason to have a fear of what they've done. And then they look out straight east, due east, to that wide blue Pacific, and they see America and Hawaii. Now, what friend do they have in that group? Us. Awesome. 